Good morning, everybody. I am Rose. This is Chris. What a great, you know what? Let me just start this. We'll start. Show off. Stephanie's dad, Steve Raymer, always watches our show, everything, was, was in the hospital. And Tyler, got a big shout out to Steve. They don't know what's wrong. It's some kind of, it's either a heat stroke, heat exhaustion, mild stroke, whatever it is, we won't know till today. Okay? But a big shout out. He's alert. Only thing really hurting him, he said, is his left eye, or Stephanie told me this morning, and he's got bad headaches. So I'm not a doctor, so I'm not even going to try to figure out what it is. But what I want to go into this conversation about well, is... Well, can I add one to that? Yeah. While taking care of her dad, which is Brooke's grandpa, right, going to the doctor, Rhonda got hit yesterday. In the car? In the car. God dang. A little sore. He has a little neck deal, has a crack. Vertebrae? Yeah, but they think it was from a previous injury way so, back, okay. whatever. But they're okay, so well, good. shout good. out to them. The driver did not have insurance. Well, that's not good. Where I want to go with this conversation is... Is this a serious show? Mm, half and half. Okay. Me and Stephanie are, I think, kind of built out of the same cloth. I really feel that way. And she called me yesterday. She was upset. This is like 3, 45, 4 o'clock. Called me. She was upset. I said, okay, what do you want to do? I said, you want me to, I'm, I'm going my way home. I said, you want me to meet you there? You want to go to go to Tyler? And she goes, I'm going to Tyler. I don't want you to go. I want you to, I want you to stay here because we got the dogs. Mm -hmm. I said, totally understand. I am that same way. If And I've had to go to Chillicothe to Randy's dad's funeral. I've had to do... I don't want you going to feel upset when I can handle that burden. Make right. sense? So I didn't fight her and go, no, you know what, baby, let me go with you. You're going to need me. You're going to need me there. I really did what we did yesterday in the show. I said, hey, take a deep breath. Calm down. We'll call the hospital. We'll find out what's going on. Then you can proceed. Because I don't want you driving like a bat out of hell crazy. Brett went. Brett and Andy came from <clears throat> Fort Worth. If Brett wouldn't have went, I probably would have went. Stephanie, I'm going with you. Yeah. To that, where she wouldn't be by herself. She already didn't. We had already said that. She went. Brett and them didn't, she didn't know Brett and them were there until she was already going. That's what I, I thought about that too. And she I'm just went, saying the difference between me and you. Yeah, I done went, listen, I'm going. Yeah. Because you ain't going to sit there yeah. and sit out there and worry without a shoulder to, to be on. Yeah. And but Stephanie's hard headed. Stephanie's hard headed. And I, that's where I went. I went, I, was, I would be the same way. I would not want her to go if something was to happen to my dad or something because. I don't need... Because I'd go. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't even want you to go. Right, I, I, I know. And, 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 and I don't, I don't, I'm trying to see what you people would do. Is it a, oh my God, I can't believe you didn't just make yourself go with your wife type of response? Or, man, y'all are not a lot different than me. If, if, if it was worse... Oh, God dang, yeah. yeah you'd have went. That's what I'm saying. If there so, was, if they're going, this is a serious deal, you'd have went regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, sold that dog out there barking. I've gotten that call back in the day when my brother-in-law at the time had a motorcycle accident. Yeah. And, man, I'll be honest with you, you don't want to go. I totally agree with you that. You don't want to go. Trust me. Totally agree. Because there's no words that'll comfort. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to fix it. No. Right. That's where I was going. There's nothing you can do to fix it, but to be there, stand there if they yeah. need you. That's it. And we text the whole night and she called me, but I felt, I, those were my, my exact words. I can't, and we have talked about this before, I can't fix that problem. I don't know what to say to fix that problem. But you're right. Just being there is. But more those are than... all. Those are all things that that that's going to 
that everybody has to deal with. Yeah. Everybody Gracie's knows. getting older. Yep. Gracie's getting older. Uh, Nala's getting older. Getting older. Russell, You're getting older. Russell's getting older. Our parents are getting older. Yep. Accidents happen. Uh, you, you know. It's going to happen. Our One of our best buddies, Brazil, lost his brother 30 years ago today from leukemia. I, he was 15 or 16 yeah. years old. How do you deal with that? You, as a parent, as a brother, it's tough. It's got to be it, tough. It's a Death is a hard thing to deal right. with. I thought we were going to go a different way on this show, but I apologize. We well, are. we can spruce it up now. But, but yeah. Death when my hard. mom goes, there's going to be a party. <laughs> That's all she wants is a yeah. big ass party. My dad that didn't really change much. My dad has said it best. He said it best. He said it best. I will always believe this. And I have told you, and you agreed with me. Death's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's, an, it's we'll inevitable. Try to not let it happen. It's inevitable. That's why we're freezing and doing all that stuff. But it's gonna happen. And at that point, it's. Am I al- allowing you to, to be gone, you're at peace, or am I selfish in wanting you back? I, I've told this story before. We got new listeners. I'll tell it really quick again. I was 18 years old. My cousin was killed in a car wreck, went to the funeral in Houston, and the preacher did such a good job of saying, cry all you want. Tomorrow, rejoice. Yeah. Because they are better. If you believe, yeah, that's, that's where they are yeah. better. I agree with that. And if you keep crying and wallowing in self-pity that they're not here, you're just selfish because that's they it. are that's better it. than they were yesterday. Yeah, I totally believe in that. I totally agree with that 100%. I miss them. But if you believe, then... There, there's where I was going. It's okay to miss. Uh, of course. But you're not... The miss doesn't become attention to you. Oh, Chris, it's okay, buddy, even though they're gone. Let's let's don't, you. let's don't even go there. So that's what I don't Let's like. don't even go there. All right, let's don't Social go there. Social media bull crap. <laughs> Nobody posted about it until today, Till Shay posted. His his wife down there posted for him that he's going to be okay. Stephanie and Brett are there. His best friend from Meridian's there. He's going to be okay. We didn't post last night. We didn't say, send us your prayers. I'm a big believer in prayer, but I'm a big believer in self prayer. It's our business. Right. She can it's their business. I don't need to hear you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine, because we're not hurting. I mean, now I do not, I do believe I'm not I do way. believe there's time for group prayer. I do too. Our friends um I totally agree with that. Buckle. Yep. <clears throat> Sherry and them's boy that got hit. Totally agree with that. You know, I believe there's time for that. And me going to the doctor because I cut my finger didn't really time for that. I don't, know, I don't that. know if you need prayers for that. I mean, I guess you can. I guess you can pray for anything. I'm just saying it takes the attention off of the person that is hurt, which right. is you. Unless you post it. You know what? Let's let's just let's get this. Let's get this show. Let's get this show going. Hit up the Shark Tank and make this bet that you're gonna die. And I promise you, you will you, win. You that ain't gonna bet. be able to collect your winnings. But you will you be will able That's our, to win one bet. Let me say, the reason we are taking the boys up today, the sharp, sharp tank boys up today, is the final four is coming up, and you're going to need, you're going to need a pick. And I want you to contact these guys. You see them right here? At the Sharp Tank on Twitter. You contact those guys, and you say, Who do I need to take? What do I do? What? I just want to throw this out what there. We did us a little 10-man deal down at the backyard right, right, among right, friends right, right, and stuff. Right, right. And right now, I'm in second place. <gasps> For the bracket? Yeah. And guess what? I can't get first because the other guy's so far ahead. And guess what I get for second? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. It was a winner take all. Yeah. Kind of like our bowling deal. Got yeah. Third for deal. We got some pictures I want to put up, but I'm going to put them up tomorrow. Jerry in his shirt. We're going to put up the shirts you got tomorrow. So it's just kind of been one of them Tim, shows. Tim posted his. I mean, Tim. Tim Murphy posted his in a comment. We need to get it. I got it. I got <laughs> that one. I'm going to put up tomorrow. I'm putting up. It's an old school pimp. It's an old school pimp. I'm not even going to tell you who it is. I'm going to let you try to figure it out. But when we got that picture, 
Me and Chris both went. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Look he at kinda that. looked oh, like uh Oh gee. What was the guy from Gladiator? Uh Russell Crowe. He looked like Russell Crowe in the good guy. Yo, good guys, I go with kinda. that. <laughs> hair flowing. Love that hair, love that on. hair. But we're gonna wait till tomorrow to post that. But Steve, Rhonda, everybody, we're glad everybody's okay. Yeah. Uh, hope news today is even better than it was yesterday. We'll keep you posted on the show tomorrow. We're going to get out of here and just answer our question. Answer the deal. What what would you have done in that situation? We have, we would do two different things. It's, that's what's great about it. So until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. <laughs>